Alright guys, welcome to another Dokkan Battle video. Now, with the upcoming uh, Halloween banner on Global or the Grand Summer, if you're talking about it specifically on JP, uh, with it coming up soon, I figured I'd make a video now and kind of discuss what is coming up, uh, especially because it's going to be dropping in like two days. Um, so, I'm going to be discussing like the overall value of this banner as well as if I think you should summon on it. Um, the one thing to mention though, is that while God Goku could show up, there's a high possibility he isn't. If we go ahead and look at the other Halloween banners, we could see that they always return the Saiyan Day Dokkan Fest. We saw it with Intamaja Vegeta, we saw it with AGL Bardock, and if I pulled it up, I could definitely bring up the, um, the other Saiyan Day units that they've brought back for sure. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it, it might be just these two, <laughs> but either way. They have a the tendency to bring back like i was talking about the saiyan day unit um the only issue is that this is not how uh they did it on jp so jp obviously doesn't get the halloween banner because they just return the saiyan day unit on the dokkan fest that's going on right now as we already saw that on jp they returned him for 17 and 18. so there's just like a very big possibility that he's not going to be returning. The only hope that we have is that they only showed Vegito and Gogeta on the um, the Dokkan Fest like banner. And it says three of the Awakens can be LRs. But as you can see, there's still multiple Dokkan Fest spots that they can swap out with God Goku. Um, but again, it's just more hopeful than anything. I'll go over like a should you summon on this if you if there is God Goku and the, if there isn't. Um, but I guess we'll go ahead and start off with uh, worst case scenario, which is if it isn't. So this banner is 100 stones. You can only do it one time. And then you get one of the side banner units from this year guaranteed, basically. So all the way from Int, uh... Goku and Vegeta, or Goku and Vegeta, Int, um, Vegeta and Trunks from last year on. It's basically all of the side bending units. We got Tech Frost, Bad, Vegeta, pretty good. Yadro would be pretty good as long as he dodges. Uh, Amund and Raisin are very, very good. Pan, she just needs to dodge. She's a dodge or die character. STR Krillin can work wonders for sure. He is a very, very good support unit. Uh, no. It, it, he has his uses like Tian can still do cooks relatively well uh in some places and then yeah they, they kind of suck too um but we'll, we'll go ahead and look at the lrs too but if we look at just the dokkan fest uh tech ojita can't be used anymore we're gonna kind of have to wait on his easy a which won't happen for a couple of years uh we obviously know that str gogeta and tech vegeto blue are probably top 15 in the game Top 15 LRs in the game. I could, I could probably say that, yeah. Um, Int, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, yeah. They, he's they've aged like milk. That's an, that's just the unfortunate thing where um, it, it, when you don't have any defensive utility other than just pure defense and nothing else, you're just gonna age poorly compared to the other Dokkan Fests. Fizz Kid Goku is starting to show some age, for sure. But that doesn't mean that he's completely useless. He's still a really good orb changer. He still is supporting um, some categories that have gotten a little bit of buffs, but not not too much. Um, I would say that his damage reduction support is still holding up pretty well with a lot more of these damage reduction slash guard units coming out. Uh, it's always nice to have like two defensive utilities for sure clashing with each other. Guard and damage reduction is always going to be a very powerful option. Super Saiyan 2 Goku is definitely, uh, <laughs> he's showing his years now. Uh, I would probably say that he's pretty useless at Super Saiyan 2 and even at Super Saiyan 3, he's just like, he's not tanking, but he's still like keeping up damage wise. It's just like I said, he's not tanking, so it's not good. STR Kid Buu is unfortunately the same issue where he has lots of healing, but the buildup and... The amount of damage that you take even when you're fully built up and like double supering with kid boo uh it's just not worth it 17 and 18 are probably gonna keep not aging just because of their uh ghost usher that doesn't mean that they can tank 
after that usher though like they're they're only safe for one turn Ejo Ginyu, it's he's gone like it's just it's sad but he's gone uh he he cannot uh work well and some of the maybe i should do a video about that let me know what you guys think i, I don't think he works well in, in some of these new constants anymore like he, he just stacks way too slow when before it was fine because you would have like 17 turns to stack so you get stronger with Ginyu as time goes on but when the, with these new events coming out that you have like two turns to build up if even that he just doesn't have enough time and it's just like a, an unfortunate circumstance because he was built for having more time and then they dropped all of these short uh phase content ain't as a story for gogeta is probably coming up on an easy a i don't know i'd probably say no uh not not anytime soon like his animations and and stuff look really good uh but he came out as the same time as like tech gohan and ne no neither of those guys are getting easy <laughs> anytime soon so yeah i would definitely wouldn't expect that but the thing is that like these like i said these guys are really top tier options i would still say you get one guaranteed featured ssr and you get one guaranteed featured uh one guaranteed non-featured ssr from uh the group as well i i'm I don't i'm assuming they mean yeah i'm assuming they mean when they say that this is like guaranteed featured uh that they don't mean any of these guys are guaranteed featured but like if you could pick up like gogeta or vegeto and you don't have them i think that it, it would definitely help out your account a whole bunch uh, and if we go ahead and look at some of these lrs uh the yellow coin lrs are obviously not good but it like it has has the new goku i don't know if he'll be on it honestly because his banner is probably going to be out let me just check really quickly before i say this um goku dokkan fest or not dokkan fest the lr his banner doesn't leave that soon right one second sorry um yeah his, his banner will be up at the same time that this drops so i really doubt yeah because his banner runs until the third of next month and the uh halloween banner will be dropping on the oh, is it, where is it here it is the banner will be dropping on the 26th so i i don't know if they'll add the goku and even if they do add the goku it's still not worth it because if, if you're if you're that if you're hunting for goku i would not which you shouldn't i i would just summon on his regular banner you're more likely to pull him on that uh the only good thing here is like bulma bulma is just gonna gonna be like helping out a lot of these banners i would say that have like all these lrs the problem is that look how many that there are and how many are just non-featured ssrs are there 311 so you're going for a one in a 311 chance uh yeah i no like at, at that point just wait just wait for like a gold coin so that way you can build up your gold coins and then pick her up when uh she does come back but yeah like, like the literally the best thing on this banner is an unfeatured unit and like i said you shouldn't chase unfeatured units on these banners however if you're like a new account i would i would say that this is like a pretty good value banner like i said this is two of the top 15 lrs in the game uh probably another top 15 tur in the game i'd probably have to think about it he's he might be on the top 10 like i said i have to think about it um i guess you could say top one of the uh, like three four top 10 i guess you could say five we'll say half of this half of the units that you can get from these guarantee this guaranteed thing is is all good not those guys uh like nope whatever you guys know what i mean vegeta yajirobi uh almond and raisin uh pan you know krillin tian like these guys are all really good uh the other uh, rest aren't they just aren't but you're more likely to get something usable and good rather than uh something bad because one two three four bad compared to one two three four five six yeah so you have a you have a six out of ten chance to get something pretty good um 
so like yeah like in that aspect it, it's good it's a good banner but again I, I would just say no like if if you're if you're like a person who is not new i i feel like especially with with global having announced that they are doing the link up uh with the schedules and we don't know when anniversary is going to be for global like who knows if it's going to be in january for global can uh still or i'm sorry we don't know if it's going to be in uh january because of uh well i guess january february we don't know if it's going to be for that uh for both global and jp league if that's going to be like a cross uh celebration from now on and all of these guys who i'm talking about here gogeta and vegeto blue uh i would probably say the main part of this banner um they're they're obviously just going to be on those instead so it's like why would you why would you waste your stones going for that when you can not only get a new unit let's who's hypothetically number one in the game number two in the game um while also going for them too because it's just like there, there's no high point on this you know there's there's nothing that you could say that like i i, I don't know like it's guaranteed of course but it's just i would just say it's not worth it if physical god goku is on here though let's say that he is uh top two to you let's say that they swap hypothetically let's say that they swap uh resurrection f goku we got a top two tur we got a top 10 tur here um we got two top 15 lrs like that would i would say that that would make this banner probably worth summoning on just because of god goku and then kid goku both on this banner like i would say that this would be a pretty okay banner but it, it, like i said it's, you're just throwing you're just throwing your, your it's kind of just like i don't know you still don't have a high chance of pulling something good because it's one two three four uh good units and six bad units so it's like the exact opposite of the side banner unit situation but like i said you a lot of these yet side banner units are pretty good so it, it, if you do want to pick something like them up it's definitely a good banner for sure um because these while these units are something that you could just pull on any multi going for them specifically with all of them here uh is definitely not a bad idea especially like how i was talking about you never know if you could pull something like bulma if you could pull something like uh Who's another good uh, yellow coin LR? I guess Super Boo. Super Boo is good. Golden Freeze is good. You never know if any of these guys are going to be coming up on an easy A soon as well. And God Goku is still relatively well. Uh, Infusion Zamasu just has to have their name changed. <laughs> well, the the tech LR has to have their name changed. Future go or future uh, trunks in my are okay, I guess, especially with all these future saga buffs they've been giving us. Uh, Janemba starting to show his A's a bit. Uh, Turlesk might be coming up on an easy A soon. Who knows? Uh, God Goku and Hit have kind of gotten resurged through the 17 and 18. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, if if this is a banner that has God Goku on it, I could definitely say that you, if you don't have God Goku or if you're trying to get some of these other side banner units with him. But this is a good banner and you should summon on it if this does not have his god goku and this is it's a, an exact copy and paste situation uh which by the way i don't i don't th i i'm hoping and i would i would i trust in the dokkan team to to add his god goku because we've had this literally every single year from uh uh with like majin Vegeta and agl bardock but uh, i'm i gotta keep hopeful you know who, who knows uh but i like i said i really hope they do because if we looked at something like eighth year anniversary we all knew that the part two banners were gonna be trash and they made it marginally better you know so i i, I can hope i can hope but yeah let me know what you guys think uh hope you all good luck if you do summon on this banner in two days and i hope that you pull what you want uh but other than that i hope you guys all have a great shit weekend hope to see you guys in the next one peace